Kim. I'm back with another look. It's negative two degrees outside, so this is my polar vortex inspired smoky eye. Hope you enjoy. Start it all off with the Shadow and Sherman's Primer by Too Faced in Champagne. Get on your finger, put it all over the lid. I feel like you can't do any eyeshadow look without primer. And then set it with Charmer from the Charlotte in the Bloom palette or any plain white shadow you own. Get that all over the lid. And then I'm using Smarty Pants from the Charlotte in the Bloom palette as my transition shade. So blend it all over the crease. I'm using my Real Techniques B Shadow Brush. And then I'm going in with a Rebel from the same palette, focusing that on the outer V. I'm using a flat brush just to pack it on. This is going to be my undertone for the crease, so make sure to drag it from your V to the middle of your eye. And then blend it all out with a fluffy brush. And then I'm going into Leader from the same palette just to build up the smoke. I'm using the flat end of my Naked 2 brush. As you can see, I'm sort of outlining the V just so it all blends together. And then I'm going into Activist. To start with the smoke color, I'm going with the same brush and as you can see, this is when I really outline the V and then I'm blending it out with the fluffy end of the Naked 2 brush. Make sure to blend the color into the middle of your lid so later on it all blends together. And then I'm going into Smoke Show, the irony of that name, and that's going to be the smoky color. So drag it to the middle from your V to enhance the smoky effect. I feel like I said smoky about 10 times already, but it's okay. Really make sure to drag that in your crease as well so it all matches. You don't want any weird spots. And then just blend it with a fluffy brush. And then I'm going to Smarty Pants and the palette closed on me, but I'm going to Smarty Pants as a transition shade just to blend out any harsh lines. And then I'm going to Rebel once again on top of the outer crease just to blend that out. And then I'm going into Leader from the same palette on top of Rebel just to deepen the color. Then from the Naked palette, I'm taking Virgin at the inner corner of my eye for the highlight of the look. Because me personally, I don't really like dark eyeshadow looks, so I always have to add a light color in there. But you can skip this part if you'd like. And then I'm going into Rebel once again just to build up the color because after blending it so much, the color kind of goes away. And I'm just using the same brush from the Naked 2. Just really precisely pack it on that outer crease. And then I'm taking Activist just to deepen it. Because when you blend it so much, the color kind of just goes away. So you really need to make sure to really build it up. And then I'm just dragging it farther down into the middle just for it to blend in with the inner corner color. Because you don't want a random line in the middle of your eye. That's just not cute. And then I'm taking Dark Horse from the Naked palette to the middle of my eye just to blend the smoke into the highlight. So this gives off kind of a sh fade effect, which you're going for. And then just blending it with my base shadow brush. And 
And then I'm taking Charmer once again into the inner corner just to brighten it up. And then I'm taking Pistol and Ver from the Naked 2 palette. Only in the inner corner just to create a silver color so it matches with the smoke. I was going for a bit of an ombre effect with this look. So hopefully I accomplished it. And then I'm going into Pistol just to enhance the silver color. And to blend the two together. This is a very cool tone look. That's why I need it after the cold weather because I want it to be clever. And then I'm taking Smog and Dark Horse from the Naked palette just to fade the smoke into the inner corner. And then I'm taking Activist from the Tarlet palette just to build up the darkness because as I said again, I blended too much so it has all disappeared. And then lastly, I take Ver for the Naked palette in my inner corner just for the silver highlight and that finishes the look. If you want to know how to do the eyeliner, like this video and I'll do a tutorial on that. If you enjoyed my smoky eye, please comment below for any suggestions for your next video. Do subscribe and like and if you recreated this look, please tweet me at Kit I would love to see it. Bye!